Michelle McBride. Welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers. The Shore and live music. Nothing goes better together in the summer. And here to tell us about a great series that puts the sand between your toes and the music in your ears is Jeff Raspi, music director at 90.5 The Night. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Very good. Nice now, to be here. Great to have you. Now, we are talking about the Songwriters on the Beach series, mm -hmm. the Songwriters series in its ninth year, and we had a change of venue. Can you tell us about that? We did. We had a change of venue for the last uh, eight years. We've been in Riverside Gardens Park in Red Bank. Uh, this year, being the first summer after Sandy, uh, we decided to take it to one of the one of the shore towns that had been hit pretty hard right. by Hurricane Sandy, and Belmar stepped up. Belmar Tourism is co-sponsoring it with us, and uh, we're going to be right there on the beach, the Fifth Avenue Beach, across from uh, Silver Lake Park. And tell us about the series. What what kind of acts are going to happen? Do we have local folks? Local bands will be supporting every week. Uh, and then there are national headliners every week. Uh, a couple of folks who've played for us before, uh, Richard Barone on July 11th from the Bongos. Uh, it's actually a big year for him because he's one of the folks most connected to Maxwell's in Hoboken, which announced its closing. Right. Uh, and Ari Hest uh, on August 1st, I believe, uh, is coming back for the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, coincidentally, he's played every other year. Um, and then the others, the other five are first timers, uh, Michael McDermott, local favorite, Nicole Atkins, right. um, James Maddock, who is originally from England, but, uh, lives in New York city now. Um, and, uh, all, all the openers are, are well-known local right. artists. Who Which are, there's no shortage of in our indeed, area. Indeed. There is definitely no shortage of, of local acts. Now, um, you're the person that everyone goes to. You're the music wizard. Now, tell us a little something about putting this together and how you got these folks on board and, and what it entails. And what, is it, what does it mean to them to be able to do this? It's mostly a lot of phone calls and uh, emails. Yeah. <laughs> um, for the most part, everyone that plays is somebody that I at least know a little bit. Right. Or, or somebody connected to them, whether it's their manager or their booking agent, something like that. And um, so what... The way I start is I try to figure out who might have a new album through the summer, which means that at 90.5 the night, obviously, we would be playing that new album, right. um, which always helps. Uh, and as far as uh, what it means to them, I think for the most part, most of them are, are excited to do it because it's, it's, a, it's a great venue, um, although, I mean, this year we're... We're going to assume it's a great venue because we haven't been there yet. How could it not be? <laughs> You're on the beach in New Jersey. We made it through the storm. We made it after the storm. And now we have some great music there. Now, you said that each show is free. Mm -hmm. And they start at 7? They start at 7 o'clock. Um, generally end somewhere in the 930 range. Okay. Um, we'll be right on the beach this, this year. Uh, yeah. The stage will be actually part of the boardwalk uh, with the audience on the sand. Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, it should be fantastic. As long as Mother Nature plays nicely with us, <laughs> it'll be fantastic. Which she's been known to be a little mean, but, yes. uh, you know, hopefully I, I'll think sunny thoughts. Good. And um, now it's going to be on, right on Ocean Avenue, right on the beach. Ocean and Avenue, Fifth, Fifth and Ave. Sixth. Yep. Okay. Ocean Avenue, Fifth Ave, right across from Silver Lake right. Park. Now, if, if anybody wants to go, they bring anything with them? Bring a chair, bring a towel, Great. Uh, bring an umbrella. All right. You know. Now, um, where can they go to find out more about this? On the 90.5 The Night website, which is 90.5thenight.org. Okay. Um, as you get to the day of a show to find more immediate information, yeah. you can go to 90.5 The Night's Twitter, as well as the Songwriters in the Park uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash songwriters905. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. And to find out more about that, you could go to 90.5thenight.org. And just want to say thank you to Jeff Raspi from 90.5 The Night, and we'll see you on the beach this summer.